Temperatures are in the 60s and the dew points backed off ever so slightly. But the good news, the, the, the majority of the good news this morning is the fact that there aren't any storms out there. It got hopping yesterday and we're going to talk much more about, more about the storms here in a second. The dew points backed off a little. You notice a slight change in the humidity, not quite as steamy out there this morning, so that's welcome. That's the forecast high for today, though, so we're still going to be running around the low 90s. So yeah, it's still going to be hot and muggy, just not as hot as it's been. Precipitation wise, Bluegrass Airport picked up three tenths of an inch of rain yesterday with all those storms that were firing all around us. Uh, so we're still running a big time deficit an inch and over an inch and a quarter for the month. But for the summer, a surplus over half an inch and uh, still running that big time surplus for the year because remember how wet it was earlier in the year. Uh, but uh, we could use more widespread rain and we've got more rounds coming our way. Unfortunately, some of the rounds do this. These are all wind damage reports. These are all storm reports. Uh, LSR's local storm reports here, and you can see that we had primarily wind damage yesterday uh, from those storms. Down trees, power lines, had a near 60 mile per hour wind gust out of uh, Bowling Green, and uh, that was uh, uh, via ASOS there. And you can see that uh, we've got a marginal risk for severe storms today. So we're not out of the woods as far as the severe weather goes, but the, the higher threats are going to remain uh, across New England states today. We have that marginal risk out area wide and then a marginal risk holds for tomorrow as well because we're going to continue to see these repeated rounds diving in here as a front sag south. Right now everything is either out east or out west and this is the batch that we'll be keeping an eye on for tonight. Much like yesterday, just going to be a later onset and probably weaker as it gets in here and it'll have another wave diving in and potentially impacting us. At the moment, the only thing even close to us has been across Ohio and West Virginia. So that high backs off, cold front starts to sag in. Here comes that wave of storms by late this afternoon. It's just getting into Illinois. So this looks like late this evening, early tomorrow morning in a much weaker state at the onset. We may have a few strong to severe storms. And then as this front just kind of sags in here and slowly settles in, we'll have additional rounds of showers and storms Thursday, even into Friday. If you blink, you miss it. That's Chantal. It formed yesterday. It is the third named storm, a tropical storm of the season. What has been a very quiet season. I mean, look at the list. We're only up to the third one and we've got uh, the peak of the hurricane season coming up, though. Remember, we're just getting into peak activity, which typically goes from mid August through the end of October with that uh, st statistical peak right around September 10th. Uh, so, yeah, there's still plenty of time to add to the list, but fortunately so far, and been a lot going on. A lot of that has to do with that uh, Saharan dust layer that's been blowing off in the Atlantic. It's kind of suppressing storm formation. Partly sunny, a few showers and storms late today. Temperatures still on the hot side. We'll be around the low 90s, but still not going to be reaching 99 like we did a couple of days ago. Scattered showers, storms overnight down to 70. A few of those could be strong to severe. And then it's going to be on again, off again. Showers and storms. Another round tomorrow night into early Friday. Some additional scattered showers and storms of that front hanging around Friday. So we will have active weather. More chances to get wet, give you the soaking that you need, but also could be some strong to severe potential and a lower end chance. Saturday, that high of 80 degrees. Guys, that's what we usually see for an average high around about mid September. I'm going to be soaking that. Yeah, that's awesome. After the past couple days and after this weekend. Tom, oh. thank you.